Hello and welcome to the Bigger Pixel. My name is Advent and today I'm going to be talking about how to make a batch file for use in Fallout 4 and you, to be used through the console really. Now a batch file is a sort of command file. It runs a series of commands. It is a file that you find typically in um, Windows when you look through you know, application documents and stuff, you'll find batch files, especially if you look through the system files of Windows. But as far as Fallout 4 is concerned, uh, a batch file simply runs a series of commands. And you can see on the left here, I have a batch file that I already made a long time ago uh, relative to Fallout 4. And it runs a series of player add item commands and this one's specifically for armor as you can see for the title there and it is basically a, a, your standard command followed by a semicolon and what that semicolon does is it tells the uh, next line to be called up and it runs that command so it goes all the way down here running all these commands and I know that some of these uh, have bad reference IDs, but it will keep running those. It'll chug through the errors until it reaches the end. And I have another uh, file over here, which is my example to you all today of how to make one. So I'm going to quickly retype this in, and that is toggle flying camera, followed by the semicolon, so that'll toggle our flying camera. We go to the next line. We'll toggle the game pause, and then go to the next line, and we'll toggle the menu. And that'll simply allow us to quickly go through uh, setting ourselves up for a screenshot. And I've titled this screen 2 because I created another batch file, which uh, didn't quite work out. Uh, this is not my first take on this video. So when you save that, save it as a regular text document. I've tried saving it as batch file uh, for some reason even though uh, it's supposed to be a batch file that it's calling up you're actually calling up a um, you're calling up a text document for it to run a series of commands from. So don't shy away from downloading mods that are for batch files uh, that are supposed to be batch commands for uh, Fallout 4. It's probably the easiest mod to make. It isn't even really a mod, but um, it's out there and a lot of these are out there already. Like the ammo, the crafting, you, they're easy to find. So we'll save it there. We'll overwrite it because hey, what the hell. Oh, and when you save it, make sure it's in the application folder for the uh, for Fallout 4. Make sure that the application is in the same folder. You see we have the Fallout 4 application and we also have the launcher in this folder. Which is very important because otherwise if you save it in data, it's not going to work. And if you play on Steam, that's in your Steam library, Steam apps, comment, and then Fallout 4. It's, it's that simple. So I already have Fallout 4 running. We're going to jump in there and I'm going to show you what exactly these two batch files do. Um, our first one, I'm going to do the armor one to show you exactly what that does. And as you can see, it ran a bunch of player add items. And the little arrow there tells you that it came from the batch file. And if you go up here, you can see I have a couple bad reference IDs in here. It doesn't know what that is, so it just kind of spews it out and then says, okay, well, on to the next. Zero, zero, zero. I don't even know what that one's supposed to be. But as you can see, it did all those. And you don't need these zeros in the front. It'll run it just the same way without the zeros. Uh, and I explained that in the last video I did. Um, but let me show you the one we made today. So bat screen. Now, I'm going to show you bat screen, and I'm going to show you bat screen too. Bat screen was the one that I saved as a batch file. So if you do that, it'll say batch file cannot be found or opened, even though there literally is a batch file in the Fallout 4 folder named screen, uh, but it's not a text document, which is the problem. So we're going to do bat screen 2, 
And as you can see there, everything disappeared because we toggled the menu. So I'm going to toggle the menu again. And I'm going to close that. And uh, there we got Grognak's costume. And we got our flying camera going, and the game is paused. So we can take our screenshot, we can maneuver around, which is a lot easier to do when you have a joystick. So I recommend you use a controller if you're trying to do that. And it's that simple, folks. Making a batch file. Fallout 4. This has been the bigger pixel I've been Advent, and I hope that you liked the video. I hope it was educational for you. I don't know what I'm going to do next in Fallout 4 or Console Command series, uh, but you can bet you that it'll be informational. So please consider subscribing and liking the video and joining me next time for that.